Hello guys, Gene here with G-Squared Tactical. We're going to talk a little something today about something that probably none of you guys have ever heard before. And that is a comparison between the CZ-P09 and the, what is that? This is the Staccato 2011P STI. Yeah, that thing, you know. Anyway, whenever Trey bought this gun, I gave him a lot of grief, you know, before seeing it. And I haven't shot the gun. I gave him a lot of grief about spending that kind of money for a pistol. And, um, you know, when I saw it, I gave him even more grief after holding it and everything. I expected, I, I don't know what I expected really, you know, I had never purchased a pistol that was that had a $2,400 price tag on it. And so I, 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 I don't know, like, I mean, you know, I have a Dan West in 1911, maybe I was kind of expecting that. and. I even kind of got a little aggravated with him, you know, almost as if, you know, like like maybe a, 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 a parent would with their kid or something. Like, why would you do that, you know? And I mentioned to him that my CZP09, as this being the one gun that he did not want any time, nobody did really, but especially Trey, you know, if, if we were going to put a nice bet on some kind of money uh, on competition like who could shoot the best was that he didn't want me to have my po9 you know he would ask me specifically do you have the po9 if you do i'm not interested in your bets you know and i said if i can take my po9 with my my 21 rounds which i don't have the mag out here with me because we're going shooting in a couple of days and i can put x amount of rounds in in in, in a 50 cent square piece circle which i have done with this before then what's different between that and you know what you're holding here and i told him that i could beat him in a competition now realistically this you know i'm not trying to say that this gun compares to that when it doesn't compare to it in price i'm sure it doesn't compare to it in trigger trigger pull trigger reset none of that stuff but we all have that one gun that we can be having a horrible day at the range, pulling left, just want to go home, regret that you even came to the range. And you have that one gun that you can pull out that no matter how bad the day is, it's going to be a beautiful day to end. And that's this gun for me. And so me and him is kind of, this is kind of a prelude to our challenge, I guess you could say. <clears throat> yeah, I mean we're still we're still working on the parameters as to kind of what how many how many rounds of ammunition we're going to be putting through each one, you know, the 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 circles that we're going to be putting on the targets, but when I first picked this Staccato up, it was I mean right now depending on when you watch this video, you know, we we picked it up about 3 or 4 months ago. So we I've had it for a good little while, but I've only put about 30 to 40 rounds through it. I haven't really shot it that much, but everything about it whenever i shot it just it was smooth it, it was a great shooter low recoil and when i pulled that trigger hardly any movement came right and i'm looking forward to showing gene just how smooth and how pure that shot was and so i think that with that being maybe you know i mean let's be honest it does have a few less features and for good reason is a, is a less price point than this one is but that doesn't make it a bad gun or a low quality gun, CZ makes the best firearms in the world, in some people's opinion, um, ours being one of those, but that is a great gun. And, you know, this is a great gun. I think that I'm gonna be able to outshoot Gene with this 2011, mostly because it's so smooth. And as I was saying, like, if you guys ever pay attention when you go out to the range, I've asked range officers about this, I've asked a lot of people about how I can work on fixing it, but you always notice that your index finger will pull a little bit just because of the muscle and the grip you're taking on the gun. You'll always shoot left, right, depending on if you're a lefty or a righty, but it, it's, this gun right here takes you out of the equation in my opinion, without an optic, you know, and I just, I think he's gonna get smoked. I hate it for him, but he's gonna get freaking smoked. And you know, there's no money on the line. It's 100% a pride thing, but pride is worth more than money in this case because I'm about to take down Gene's number one go-to when it comes to people threatening him with a good time at the range, you know. But the thing is, though, the thing is, is that, um, you know, I've often said 
often said that with CZ, especially my P09, and even my P07, but the P09 a little better, obviously, because it's a full size, that it's almost like cheating. And for me, it is. You know, it's like I mentioned about a shotgun, you know, recoil all de depends on how it fits you, not necessarily how the pad is or how thick it is or how it's set up or how the comb height or length of pull. It's all on how it fits you. And this gun fits me just perfectly. And so we all have that one. Now, now I will say this, if he outshoots me with a $2,400 gun, then I can say that. I yeah. can say, hey, man, you got a $2,400 gun. Of course you would outshoot me. You know, <laughs> right, right. But if I yeah. outshoot him with a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a $579 gun, that's embarrassing. That's yeah. embarrassing. Like, I, there's, can't, I can't wait for this to happen. There's no, there's no embarrassing moment that, <laughs> that, you know, you could have in this, in this scenario. Right, right, you know? right, right. If you win, if you lose, neither are embarrassing because... You know, it, right. it, it, it's a whole thing. I and mean, it's you know, the, trigger, the trigger's not better. I mean, you know, this is a double action trigger. I mean, I, honestly, I prefer that. You know, I prefer to to drop my hammer with a decocker. But, I mean, the reset is, eh, you know, it's not a tremendous trigger. It's got a terrible amount of take up. Um, you know, the double action is, 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 is pretty heavy. I mean, all of those things, that's all true. But I'm lights out with this gun, and everybody knows it, you know. So we're going to see, I guess. We're going to find out, you know. And it's never malfunctioned either. So, you know, don't come at me with the, you know, the the what is, what, what is it, the reliability thing. I'm not even <laughs> trying to hear that noise because this has always been perfectly reliable uh, for me. And one of Trey's... It, it, it might be different. Like, say what you tell me. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he goes out, buys a P07 Tactical. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Breaks up with his girlfriend and, and goes out and buys a P07 Tactical as a celebration, I suppose. And does a video that is currently on our channel that that is his favorite gun. That is his go-to. That's his favorite. Yeah, don't don't. Is that what that. I said? Oh, 100 percent. That's what you said. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. we did our favorites, you know. Uh -huh. And I did the TRP. And you did the P07, that was your favorite gun. I you think know? there's something to be yeah. said for that. Yeah, know? that's true. That's true. But that one's a little bit more sentimental. This is my favorite uh, Gene opening up a can of whoop butt <laughs> at the range <laughs> gun. That's what this is. You know, yeah. like yeah. I just so when I first got this gun, right there was a there was a there's always that allure to go out and pick you up a competition run gun, one that is going to perform really really well. And those when you find a competition gun. And we're not competition shooters, nor do we claim to be, nor do we want to be. Like, we are 100% just normal gun guys that mm -hmm. like looking at guns, reviewing guns, and shooting them, right? But competition guns and their design are meant to take you out of the equation. And we're not perfect shooters by any stretch, right? So, if you can put a red dot on a gun, if you can do other things like manage that recoil absorption, I mean, tons of other awesome features that so many gun companies are doing nowadays that staccato has perfected you're probably going to outperform other individuals at the range you know and i just you're setting yourself up because that just proves my point that how much more embarrassing it's going to be okay yeah that you so have i put it gun. on a higher pedestal right, right. so the bigger they come right. the harder they fall it's taking you out of the equation as yeah. you say so you know okay. if you put yourself back in the equation by sucking, you know that's that's not going to be good. What what are we going to shoot at? What are we? Yeah. Gonna shoot at? So we, we so we got out? yeah. So we got we got some steel as we normally shoot on the channel because we want you guys to be able to hear that dinging that you that you know when I hit with this 2011. Um, and then we're going to have some paper targets as well, but we're going to let you know before we shoot either, because Gene will probably miss and he'll be like, yeah, I shot the bulls out of the paper and you couldn't hear it, right? But no, we're we're going to be shooting a little bit of paper. Mostly still, I feel like because there's going to be a point system to this whole thing. I can just go I, ahead. I think know, so. It's got to be. Got to be. Yeah. So we got to put it on paper. If I'm being honest, because with you, Trey will go over there and I have the whole center <laughs> blew out of the the uh, the uh, the steel, the no. paint. He goes out. Well, well, you know, you carry one over here. I mean, come come on, come come over. Look at mine. <laughs> look at mine. Like if his is more in the center, but I put 21 rounds in a in a 
a 50 cent size piece and his was a little bit more to the center of the target I won, I won even if they're all over the place you know so we got to do paper we got to do some kind of a point system you know and uh, we want you guys to vote on you know who won well or who's not, gonna win who's gonna win okay. right right who's gonna win who's gonna win you know i i mean here, here here's my thought behind this though you know but is this a nice gun i haven't shot it and you know i'm gonna let him shoot this you know and him give me his 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 word that he's gonna do the best that he can he's gonna try to absolutely do the best that he can and i'm gonna do the same with the with the 2011 here because let's face it, you know, I mean, we all want the best, right? You know, if we shoot the best with something, you know, we would like to buy the best. So maybe if I pick that up and, you know, I don't know how I would do better than I do with this. But if I did, you know, then I'd say, okay, well, you know, I might buy what's best for me one day. And that might be a 2011. Hopefully that's true. You know, I, I, I'll i give it my best shot, you know, to do good with this gun. And... And he'll do the same with this one and see if it changes our mind. But my initial argument about this gun was is that if, if I can take, uh, I think I ended up, I think actually I, I didn't pay but about four ninety nine for this gun. I think it sells a little more more than that now. But if I can take a $500 gun that has been completely reliable, I've probably shot this pistol more than I have any other pistol by a lot. And it's never given me one failure at all. I mean, does it have a, um, you know, a, a, what, what do they call a... Um, Cannon slide a, or... Well, well, yeah, I mean, you know, I, you know I'm not going to be doing that, you know, not necessarily, you know. Well, it's all yeah. about manipulation, you, you know. So you gave, a, so you a low bore what? action, that's what I was talking 580? about. 580? 580? I mean, maybe, yeah. Okay. You know. Well, you said 24 earlier, but the, I paid out the door after tax 22.52.69 for this gun. I think 69 was a change, but obviously a whole freaking lot more. And, you know, I, I agree. I'll shoot as best as I possibly can with that CZ. I think I've shot it before. Yeah. I yeah. think so. Um, and you but I think you're going to be impressed. You weren't as good with it. Well, you no. Know, it comes down to, you know, something fitting somebody, you know. That's like, right. I, I mean, I, and I, 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 listen, I'm not saying it's not a good gun. You know, I, I mean, it better be. Twenty, twenty, three hundred dollars whatever, it better be a good gun. Um, so, you know, we're going to see, you know, we're going to see, I, if I can take this gun and it's just as reliable, just as accurate for me anyway, um, then why would I want to pay 24? He's going to have to convince me by me shooting it, watching him shoot it. And also him telling me about the features and things on this gun as I'm holding it and shooting it hmm. to convince me that it's worth the $2,400 price tag. So you know that's coming like real soon like we're doing that what not not tomorrow but two days two from days now. pretty much end of the day so just one day from now right so by the time you're watching this video it'll be wednesday night and so the very next day we're going to be we're going to be doing this thing you know the anticipation is really killing us because i mean it was it was kind of a idea we had to review these two guns and compare them as it's not normally a two a comparable type setup but it's more or less one you know, one guy has a gun he shoots great with. Another guy went and picked up a gun that people say everybody shoots great with. But is that really true? Am I really going to shoot great? Because honestly, like I said, I've, I have not put many rounds to this gun. I don't know exactly how it's going to go, but I feel confident in just the few rounds I shot, as well as the overall build and just function, how this gun feels. Like, I am just, it's, it's going to be something. You guys are going to really enjoy it. It's gonna, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be one for the books, you know. I mean, you know, a Taurus 856 feels great in my hand, but doesn't mean I can hit the broad side of the barn with it. I mean, you know. This is not a Taurus 856. I mean, we're gonna find out. Is all I'm trying to say. So you know, tune in and, you know, leave up. Look, look. I tell you this. Okay, so. For, well, I, I can't really make that. I want to make a promise that I can't really make, but we have some stickers and things that we're trying to sell on Facebook. Ain't really having no love. So, what we'll do is, is everybody that chooses or picks who they think is going to win, who they think is going to, you know, you know, beat out in this competition, if you choose correctly, 
we'll take we'll draw five names out of the folks that choose correctly and, and, and we'll give the five of the people we draw who picked correctly we'll, we'll send them a free sticker for, for G squared you know the ones we're trying to sell and uh, so that kind of gets you engaged in, in this thing kind of give you some anticipation towards uh, watching the video on Thursday night because uh, it's going to be it's going to be one for the record book it's coming up it's yeah. going to be big if you, if you think Gene's going to win Slap a comment down below if you think I'm gonna win. Like the video. Well, it's G squared, Gene and Gene. So you can you can say, you know, Big G and Little G. Big G, you know, Little G. You know, you don't think you think Big G's gonna win or Little G's gonna win. You know. Um, anyway, Hell for Little G. We're just trying to have a little bit of fun, just talk a little bit of smack, compare two guns that are never compared, and so we hope you guys enjoy it. And um, you know, of course, we can't continue to keep doing what we do and and um we don't get as of yet you know we don't get anything free just yet we're hoping that changes at some point but so we, we need your support we need you to hit that thumbs up we need you to subscribe to to be sure to turn your alerts on so you can see what we're putting up and uh, we really appreciate uh, the ones that do support us and watch our videos every day we hope that you enjoy